All right, doesn't look like much, but something. I don't know, I feel like sick. something was done here because there's this pile of rocks here. And then this pile of rocks right here. But, yeah, it's all loose. So, was there some digging here? That's another question. If there were shafts here, surely can't see them. Another, another pile right there. So, all right, well, this looks like, yeah, a pile of rock. All right, so if they were doing something here, Oh yeah, come on, that, that was put there by somebody. <laughs> okay, it's just a little stream bed. Okay. Okay, that's it. Basically, this is a, uh, a very small mining operation. I said eight to nine feet shafts. Well, that's about it. Not too much to see beyond rock piles left by whoever was trying to do some mining here. Well, it's a pretty location, although I imagine they get the hell out of here because of the mosquitoes, which are pretty bad. But that's main for you. Mosquitoes. Huh. Okay, that's it. I'll see you later. Hey. Through here. Oh well, that was slightly disappointing, but not too surprised, but it's uh that's actually kind of typical. Uh very typical of these uh, very short operations during the gold rush back in the 1880s. Well, it was called a gold rush, but it was uh, mostly hype, speculation, and a lot of money thrown down a black hole. But that's the nature of uh, speculation. Risking your money. And it should be familiar with anybody who studied the South Sea bubble and the tulip bubble and other classic financial schemes. Whew. All right, made it back to my truck. Yeah. Small operations, hype, people throwing money at it, and whoo, gone. And then, uh, oh yeah, according to this 1935 survey of uh, state mineral resources, they warned that a lot of these just uh, were reflected short-term operations. Raise uh, 400,000, 500,000, something like that, uh, and then disappear. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, what a time, what a time, what a time. Oh. Yep, but they, uh, this uh, survey warns, like had most of these things were small diggings and then they just covered it up and disappeared. Yeah, of course, back in the 1920s, it was easy to disappear. All right. So that's a warning to anybody today thinking of uh, crazy stuff like Bitcoin. I mean, it's it's the classic. It's a classic financial bubble. Virtual, virtual money. You know? I hope none of you are dumb enough to get caught up in all this. Bitcoin. Holy crap. All right. Now, I'm going to check for ticks, and I'll see you all later.